Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more Total Tech Simulator. Which means that it's time for things made out of metal to get blown up. And, for some reason, my pinned comment, I don't know if it wasn't able to be seen, or I just posted it too late or something like that. I, it like, it never works the way I want it to. I need to, like, get on that quicker. The only problem is, usually when I post this stuff, I'm at work. It's all scheduled and stuff like that, and I can't post comments ahead of time until it's finally... Well, you guys don't care about that. Anyway, the point is is that I read a bunch of your suggestions for more fighting things. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. A lot of you guys, actually a lot of you guys, wanted to see planes versus anti-air. Like a lot of it. Like a lot of anti-air. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now the only thing is, to give a side the chance to defeat the planes in any way, they need something to blow up the airfields. So what we're gonna do, I don't really use too much of the artillery so we're gonna use that we're gonna use some artillery and some heavy artillery so like fixed you know ways of dealing with the fixed airfields and then we're gonna have just a crap ton of anti-air so let's go ahead and do that I think what we'll do is we'll put the you know what we'll put the uh, the Soviets up in the air this time because the the anti-air machine guns that the Germans have this right here this truck especially are really really sweet um they just look really cool when they fire so i think we're gonna go ahead and use that let's go get this set up all right we're gonna give this a real quick try so what we've got here is we've got 20 of the dive bombers and 20 of the fighters and then i just i literally have a just spaced out mess of anti-air cannons or anti-air machine guns i should say and then the aa trucks and then we're gonna have some heavy artillery and some average artillery, some regular artillery as well. And we're gonna see how that does. Now, you're gonna notice the money spent here is much less than the plane side, but I, I don't know, I kind of feel like the Germans are gonna do very well here uh, because I think the artillery should put down a lot of firepower into these airfields. Let's check it out. One of my places here that I wanna try this out at is you know what? We'll we'll do it with the classic Windy Hills here. The Windy Hills. Well, you know what? Let's do it at a flatter place. I don't know about the Windy Hills. Let's do it on the icy uh, sandy forest. Yeah, the sandy forest. I can't remember if that's super flat or not, but I think it is for the. But watch this. It's probably not flat at all. Oh yes, it's decently flat. All right, and we are off. Oh Lord in heaven! Look at this. Hold on. Spacing them out is a fantastic idea because now they're not crashing into each other But look at how crazy that is as they all take off into the air right over here We've got all of this different AA stuff going on. What in the hell happened down here? I'm hoping these are just trees. Yes, they are the planes flying overhead those those anti-air machine guns look at them just slaughtering planes overhead now the artillery is what's going to be taking out... Where the hell is the artillery at? There's artillery way back here. There it is. The artillery is what's going to be taking out the airfields. It's going to be fly, uh, firing at things far away because a lot of you guys want to just anti-air against the planes, but the problem is, is that the anti-air can't hit anything but planes. It won't attack anything on the ground. At least I've never seen it attack anything on the ground. <laughs> Look at this. Look at how many planes are just going down. There are planes going down everywhere. Over here, we've got a few falling to the ground. These guys are gonna have to watch out. The planes, if they land on them, that is a hell of a thing. Right over here, let's follow this guy in. How long can he stay alive? There is just, there is just rounds flying all over him. Over here, this, this giant artillery piece, look, firing right here and close, close, but no cigar. Got another bomber over here, dropping a bomb right on top of the artillery. Oh, <laughs> and a plane fell right on top of another piece of artillery. Look at how quickly these guns fire, kind of in sequence. It's like four shots all in a row. Very cool. I, I really like these guns. For some reason, I don't know. I just I like I like those. Uh, I like the way the cannons fire on that anti-air piece there. Let's take a look at what the field looks like right now. About half of the airfields, a little bit more than half the airfields gone. This is a pretty good fight, I think, so far. Oh wow, there is a big battery of of. Uh, anti-air over here if something lands on this or if a bomb gets dropped right over here that's gonna be six units down immediately you can see they are trying desperately 
to fire, fire, fire. There's, there's dog fighting place. What was this? What is this? What the hell happened over here? Did you guys see that? That plane like landed on the ground. It just took out a ton of units. That is bull crap. <laughs> It didn't even look like it was a kamikaze style thing. It looked like it was like landing to come down and say hi. But instead of saying hi, it spontaneously combusted into a giant fireball. Oh, right down here. Where's this guy going? Okay, I just I guess he just wanted to say hi to the trees or something. Planes are just going down left and right. This is close. Look at how insane this is. Oh, this is going to be a cool shot. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can get over here. Yes. We've got the anti-air cannons with that plane literally right there. Fire in the background. That's a cool shot right there. And he did land it. Oh, the bomb took him out. His own bomb took him to the ground. What's left down here with the German forces? Again, I don't know why, but they're creating these little pods around the artillery pieces. Now, may uh, maybe they're trying to protect the artillery pieces. That would be... A decent strategy, but the problem again is if a bomb gets in the middle of this, it is just going to wipe everything out. Now, there's still several pieces of artillery way back here. I can count at least five right in this vicinity. You can see they are firing wildly over here. Let's see if they're going to get any shots in. It's difficult to follow. They move so fast. Oh, there's only a couple. Look at this. There's only a couple of airfields left. There's only one airfield left. I think that the Germans are going to end up pulling this out, and they do. Nice. I wonder how many pieces were left over here for the Germans. Looks like there was eight pieces of artillery, two of the flax, and then 13 of the SDK FZ7s. Look at that. A lot of them are down, though, and a few of the planes and such were in the air. But the anti-air did a pretty good job, and the artillery did a good job, too. I think that was a really cool fight. You guys wanted to see David versus Goliath. So here we're going to have three of those German Ultra Heavies. And then we're going to have 55 of the BT-7 tanks. A couple of you guys were saying that the BT-7s are particularly sexalicious. So we're going to see how well they can do over here on the Autumn Leaves map. Now, I will say that I was kind of watching how some of the different tanks do armor-wise against other tanks. And these very small, these light tanks here have a hell of a time trying to carve their way through the armor of the much heavier tanks. Now, I wonder... Do you think these guys are going to drive around the housing for once in their lives? Or are they just going to drive through it? Oh, this guy went to driving. It's not this guy over here. Look at this. Blah. Right through your house. Screw you, Autumn Leaves. Down you go. Oh, yeah. Two barns for the price of one. Why not? These poor people. They should have known better. All right. Here come the Ultra Heavies. They're starting to pull up here. And it should be a giant plethora of firepower. Now, no matter what you do, no matter how you space these damn things, they all kind of just dogpile in the middle here. In fact, let me go ahead real quick and turn on turn on the health and the armor so you guys can see it. You guys were saying, and uh, the noobs from Poland came in and said, actually, they were all over the comment section. You guys were making a ton of suggestions to the noobs from Poland. I thought that was really cool, and they were being super receptive to a lot of stuff you guys were talking about, like uh, naval stuff and infantry stuff. Anyway, though, Blue for armor, green for health, and you can see these guys are trying desperately to carve away at the Ultra Heavies, but the Ultra Heavies can take a freaking licking from these tiny little tanks. Go ahead and let's go ahead and get down here for a minute. You can see this one right here firing over and over again right up this thing's tailpipe. Look at it, look at the look at the maneuverability. Look at the speed and agility. But the problem is there's just so much armor they have to get through. It's such a pain in the ass. And then, oh, that guy, is uh, he's about to have a bad day. It's pretty cool, though. This guy right up here, hold on. This guy right over here is, like, running interference or something. He's what? Oh, oh, jeez. Both of these guys just got blasted. I was going to say, he's, like, right next to the tank. Oh, he just got run over. Look at that. He literally got flattened. That was so cool. He was like running interference. It looked really cool. Let's take a look at the top down here to see how many of the Soviet tanks are left. Not very many. Uh, I think probably over half of the entire force has been completely obliterated. And what are, what are the armor looking like? Okay, so two of these have finally gotten whittled down. But I just don't think it's going to be enough, man. Because once they get rid of this armor... Then they're going to have to get rid of the health, and the health isn't going to drop down any faster. You can see shot after shot after shot 
Now, the one thing that getting the armor down does do is it forces this guy to stop. The turret still moves. You can see it swinging around. These guys are trying to go in a semicircle to stay away from that freaking turret. Because there you go. The second that turret gets a shot down, it is an insta-kill. This tank over here, the Ultra Heavy, is smoking wildly right now. But it's still operational. If a couple of these guys could get into a good position, like really, really abuse the hell out of the terrain, they may be able to do it. I think there's only like one or two of these guys left. Look at this guy right here. He's giving it the best he can. Down in one shot. And then, oh, look at this. This guy over here is... He's running. He's running and gunning, but it's not enough. David versus Goliath, and Goliath totally took that home. You guys wanted to see heavies versus heavies. The heaviest of the heaviest. Now, I will say that the secret project, the T-42, is, like, insane. I mean, like, insanely insane. But there's something else that I wanted to check out. One of you guys were talking about this, too. It's the Heavy Tank Destroyer, otherwise known as the SU-100Y. And I did, you, you, you said read up on this because it's pretty cool. I did take a look at this. This thing is insane. Now I'm trying to regurgitate what I learned on Wikipedia, which I guess anyone can, uh, can put whatever they want on there. But I can't imagine someone going to Wikipedia and being like, I'm going to change the SU-100Y to have incorrect information. Everyone will hail my incorrect, I don't know. But Wikipedia and the commenter said that it had a 130 millimeter naval cannon on it. I think it was going to get replaced with a 152 millimeter cannon. That's pretty cool. Um, and then we're going to be up against, yes, none other than the super heavy Tiger IIs. The King Tiger II tanks. So we've got 39 on this side for the Germans, 60 on this side. This is going to be a big damn fight over in Palm Paradise. Everyone who freaking retired in Florida is going to be really, really sorry about their decision. Now, these, these heavy tank destroyers here slowly creeping along. Look at that move out. Look at the size of that freaking gun right there. And they have begun firing. Right over here, let's go check some of these out. See if we can find one of the front liners here. Oh, here we go. Right over here. I think this one should be moving in pretty soon. As long as they don't friendly fire the crap out of each other. There's a shot right there. You can see one of the super one of the super tigers just went down big time. Another shot right there. Now it looks like it can take that hit. Oh, never mind. It can't take a second one. This is this is this is it, baby. Who will win out of these big bastards beating the living hell out of one another? Let's go ahead and peel back here. Take a look at the at the current state of the board. Already, you can see several of the Super Tiger tanks are down. Now, these are heavy tank destroyers. So, you figure this is what they would be good at, right? This is what they were made to do. What is this guy doing back here? He's just hiding behind this mound. Get up here and fight. And they are tank destroyers. Holy crap. This is the <laughs> this is probably the most one-sided battle we had yet. I had no idea it would be like this. I figured if I gave them the appropriate level of money... Like the same amount, it would be somewhat similar, but that is not what we're seeing at all. These tank destroyers are, in fact, destroying the living crap out of out of the heavy uh, Tiger tanks over here. The question is, if I take it down so that they have the exact same amount of units, will it change things up? You can see there's only one tank over here. This guy got hung up on this hill for some reason. I don't know if he's just watching the tide roll in or something. Finally heading over, he's found his courage. And he's going to rush on forth with the power of a thousand suns. And in comes all of those rounds. Oh, he got a shot off and he hit someone too. That was pretty good. Look at him dip and dodge, man. Mad jukes, mad jukes. But I think he's about to get absolutely slaughtered. There it is. The final hit. And it's going to be a Soviet victory thanks to those, those tank busters right there. The SU-100Ys. Really cool. All right. So the heavy tank destroyers are made to kill tanks, right? So what happens if they have the exact same amount of units? This is going to be mano a mano over in the desert. We're going to see what happens. The desert, mostly flat, except for a few of these, like, these, like, little dunes here. Although these dunes are really perfect for setting up shop on. You let your turret just kind of poke on over it, man, and you can get some pretty good shots on out here. Let's take a look who's going to get the very first shot right there. This guy right here leading the charge with a shot. It looked like it was a decent bank shot, too. Didn't kill the guy, but it did pretty good at making contact. Over here, looking right down this guy's barrel. He just got shot from behind by his own man. I think it immobilized the crap out of him. Yeah, 
They're getting some friendly fire over here. Now, the friendly fire is going to be happening on both sides. So let's check this guy out. This guy should be perfect for a shot right here. Perfect for a shot. Take it. Take it. Do it now. Do it now. What are you waiting for? Fire. Fire. I don't know if they're loading the round or if he just wants to get right on top of the... There we go. Oh, this might be this might be a good hit right here. Wow, they both made contact, but this thing is still alive. You can see it's smoking heavily. Half of its health, almost half of its health is gone. There we go. That was the final shot that was necessary to finally level that tank destroyer. Let's look over here. Now, this is a much, much closer battle right now. A much better battle. But the, the tank destroyers are really holding their own, showing that the tank destroyers, even for the value, definitely do well against tanks, which, I mean, you figure they would. That's kind of obvious. In fact, I would say they have the advantage right now. They do. They definitely have the advantage. They are pushing back the Germans big time. So I wonder if we utilize the German tank destroyers against maybe like the medium counterpart for the Soviets. Will we see the exact same thing? Will it be such a slaughter like this? There is only one German tank left. And in a minute here, is it smoking? It is. It's already injured. In a minute here, the very first shot that comes at it is probably going to take it out. And you can see there's a lot of shrapnel kind of protecting this thing. And it's got that berm over here. Everything's really bouncing off this, off this dune. Right there, that was a shot. Just barely got over the arc, took out the turret, and he's gone. All right, now this is much more of a David and Goliath thing because the Germans' forces, they don't have a heavy tank destroyer. They just have the Stug or the Stug. I don't know. This is why I try not to pronounce this stuff because I always feel like it's wrong. But anyway, it has this sweet-looking tank right over here. This anti... I should say the tank destroyer over here that's going to be taking out a whole slew of KV-2s. So it's kind of like a lighter tank destroyer, at least in the terms of the game sizes, against the KV-2 heavy tank for the Soviet. 37 units against 60, roughly the same money spent. We're going to see how well it does. Now, when we spent the same amount of money last time, the tanks just got wrecked. So we're going to see how these things do. Now, if I remember correctly, these do not, yes, the turret on these do not spin like you typically see in a lot of the other tanks. The tanks have to kind of like turn in order to get straight. I think they have some mobility on the turret, but not very much. Now, there is a lot of terrain here. A lot of trees and a lot of, like, little spots that people can dip and dive into. Let's check this out. The first KV-2 goes down that I could see. Over here, this guy lining up for a shot. Let's take a look at how good it is. In fact, let's take a look at the health reels real fast. Oh, he's... Oh, it took that tree out. That's what I'm talking about, guys. There is a... Look at that tree. I think that's the same tree. It's just flying through the air with the greatest of ease. That's what I'm talking about, though. There is a lot of just different terrain here that's going to get in the way big time. Okay, here's another shot. Right over here. And... Oh, it's going to bank underneath. Look at that. It went, like, underneath the frame of the tank. That was so cool. This guy's smoking already. And he's down. KV2 down. This area over here, wow, these KV-2s are starting to push, but there is a lot of them that have already fallen. You can see there's four, five right in this area. A few of them are also starting to repair right now. They're trying to fire down here. Let's go ahead and get back down here and take a look at this real fast. Right over here, just kind of sitting on this, I guess I could call it, I don't know, like a snow mound or something like that. They're firing, but it just keeps bouncing shots off the ground. No one's going to get anywhere like this. These guys are going to have to move up. You can see a lot of friendly fire going on here. Now, this guy, this guy might be in a good position if he fires up a little bit more. It doesn't look like he can really get the angle. He just keeps shooting the living hell out of this tree. This poor tree wishes it was never born. Oh, wow. The KV-2s are getting just absolutely ruined over here. I mean, it is just absolute destruction. So, yes, man, the the tank destroyers on both sides easily living up to their name. I mean, easily living up to their name. How many of these tank destroyers did the KV-2s even get down? They got down 13. So, 41 were still okay. Six were immobilized. All right, and to finish it off, you guys said you wanted a massive, massive plane-on-plane -plane battle. My freaking processor is going to cry when we play this, but I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to see how it does, and we're going to see who comes out on top. There is like 172,000 monies worth on both sides right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
Let's do Farmer's Mansion, I guess. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, Lord. Slow motion is the only way. Planes are just running into each other left and right. Oh my god. Four planes are starting to take off. This is horrid. Even in slow motion, it's absolutely dreadful. Enjoy this slideshow, people, because that's basically what it is right now. Look at how much fire there is. Hold on. Can I even get up here in slow motion? Oh, my God. Oh, this is horrible. I'm going to let... <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I tried to do as you ask. I knew better. I knew better than this. Look at... Look at... Oh, there's just planes falling. They're just falling left and right onto everything around them. They're they're wrecking trees. They're wrecking other planes. Look at it. They're falling right in the middle of all these airfields. I'm hoping in a little bit, enough of these airfields will be gone to the point where we can actually take a look at this at a semi-normal pace. Oh, here we go. It looks, it looks like maybe, maybe a third of the forces are down at this point. Things are starting to get a little bit smoother. Now if I go into, now at least if I go into slow-mo, we can see what the hell is happening. Look at this freaking insane. Look at the sky. The sky is just filled with smoke and death. It looks like, I don't even know. It's just, it looks like a thousand angry birds all trying to slaughter each other at the same time. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. The ground is just a flame. It is just a giant firestorm. Stuff is crashing. People are falling. There are just runways getting absolutely wrecked over here. Has anyone even stolen a runway? I think everyone's too busy crashing and blowing the crap out of one another to do any airway thefts. Now we can start to see. Okay, let's start checking a couple of these guys out here. Now we can legitimately get into the heart of battle at a decent frame rate. Yes, look at this guy, this fighter over here. rat a tat tat and yes! Right there, shot that guy down. That was a fantastic shot right there from this Soviet player. Let's go check this dude out. Oh, that's a bomber right over there. We got a couple of airfields going on here. This guy's starting to peel around. Nice shot. He just wrecked that guy. I think he just wrecked that guy as well. This is one of the best shooters I've ever seen right over here. Those were good shots. It just didn't take that plane down, but it did quite a bit of damage right down there. I don't even know how these guns are firing at this point. They're firing at all kinds of insane angles. Nice shots there. Well, wow. He just took out he just took out like three planes by running straight into them. These are some awesome dog fights. Look at that right over there. Those two guys just came into contact with one another. Now they're both just spiraling down toward the ground. And finally, this is a close battle. This is a close battle. It's a Soviet victory. They had one airfield left. I think they had one airfield left. And that was it. That was so cool. All right, so that just barely was a Soviet victory. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed all these different battles that we had. Again, if you want to make any suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If things go correctly for once in my life, I'll get the comment up so you guys can reply to it. If not, just, just keep replying. I'll keep peeling through the comments and looking as much as I can. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>